There's a lot more to boxing than just two guys throwing punches at each other till one of them falls down. And Fight Night Round 4 is a game that makes you think about almost every punch you throw in much the same way that a real boxer would. The action is fast paced, the career mode really sucks you in, and there are some neat online options as well. On the flip side, the career mode places way too much importance on frustrating mini games, and there's no consequence whatsoever for disconnecting from online bouts prematurely. Fight Night Run 4 is a really good boxing game, and it's definitely an improvement over its predecessor, but it's not without its problems. A nice block by Fernando Montiel. Many of the controls in Round 4 will feel familiar if you played Round 3, but this year's action has a much more organic feel. Nothing about the fighters' movements feels scripted, so you need to look for openings before throwing punches, and every time you flick or rotate the right analog stick to throw a punch, any number of things can happen. Boxers in Round 4 are capable of throwing a lot more punches in each round than their real-life counterparts. But that caveat aside, fights play out in an impressively believable fashion. In a fight that lasts 10 three-minute rounds, for example, it's not uncommon for the momentum to shift from one fighter to the other as fatigue, heavy punches, and different strategies all play their part. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, and a crushing hook just gets right to him. The real reason, though, is the ingenious new corner system introduced this year. In between rounds, you get to spend points on replenishing your stamina and health and on repairing damage and the number of points that you get to spend is determined by different aspects of your performance in the previous round. Listen, don't let him steal this one, okay? You can earn points by having a high percentage of your punches find their target, for avoiding your opponent's punches, for stunning or knocking down your opponent, and even for managing to get back to your feet after hitting the canvas in a cool first-person minigame. It's a great system because it acknowledges that a boxer throwing five times as many punches as his opponent isn't necessarily throwing better punches. He was just damaged by that combination. There are over 40 instantly recognizable fighters on the round four roster that you can pit against each other. And that number is growing thanks to users who are taking the time to create custom fighters and share them online. The character creation tools are easy to use, so it's not difficult to put yourself in the game if that's who you want to play as in the Legacy Career Mode. In Legacy Mode, your fighter starts out at the bottom of his 50 strong weight class. Your primary goal is to work way up to number one and claim the title belt. But round four takes several steps beyond that as well. After winning your chosen division and earning the rank of champion, you're really only about halfway to achieving your full potential because in addition to defending your title, there are other belts and other weight classes up for grabs. The road to being recognized as the greatest of all time is long, which is a good thing, save for those occasions when obstacles on the road seem unnecessary or are just the result of bad design. Legacy mode fighters are 19 years old and mediocre at best when their careers get underway. And because they age and must ultimately retire, you have only a finite amount of time in which to achieve your goals. The only way to improve your fighter between bouts is to train, and the number of training sessions you get is determined by how far apart the fights are. To fit in the maximum three sessions, you need to schedule your fights a full six months apart, which would be fine if your fighter wasn't growing old in the meantime. Compounding this problem is the fact that even acing a training minigame session results in only a very small gain for your fighter, and while the six minigames are fun, some are so difficult that the gains you get end up being even smaller. There's an option to simulate the training and receive 50% of the potential gain automatically, but earning two or three skill points just doesn't amount to much when your fighter's profile is composed of 12 attributes, each rated from 1 to 100. When fighting against AI opponents in round 4, it's hard not to feel like you have an unfair advantage. AI fighters will, for the most part, throw something resembling a realistic number of punches every round but you can easily throw three or four times as many without tiring yourself out too much. Online fights, on the other hand, pit you against opponents who can fight just as unrealistically as you. And because they very rarely suffer from noticeable lag, it's here that Fight Night Round 4 really shines. Sort of. 
fighters differently and the fighters are defined by where they come from. Yeah, it really is. You know, sometimes... The one big downside to online fights is that there's no system in place for penalizing players who drop out of fights prematurely. So what happens all too often is that players will come out throwing as many punches as they possibly can, earning points from the judges and tiring themselves out in the process. Then, when you start to fight back and perhaps knock them down, they disconnect. At this point, the result of the fight is decided by the judges' scores at that time, which is clearly an imperfect solution in a game where it's easy to dominate early rounds if you're not concerned about a fight going the distance. It's extremely disappointing to lose a fight this way, and baffling that no attempt has been made to address this very obvious and predictable problem. Oh, and there you go. Lowe's legs look shaky. He was hurt. Fight Night Round 4's greatest strength is that while it's accessible and relatively easy for newcomers, it can also be challenging and rewarding for pugilism perfectionists. It's really unfortunate that the online play is being ruined by players who can disconnect from fights without any fear of retribution because what should have been the game's greatest strength is now its Achilles heel. Stepping into the ring is still a lot of fun in Fight Night Round 4, but be aware that not everyone you come up against will be playing by the same rules that you are. He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. Ooh.